So this video intends to be a little bit more light-hearted and uh, will focus on a trip to Mexico last year in which I was uh, blessed by a Mayan shaman um, before visiting the Coba site, uh, which is the only climbable uh, Mayan pyramid in the Yucatan Peninsula. And um, you can climb up the giant step pyramid of uh, Nohok Mul. And it involved uh, quite an early start, so getting up at basically the crack of dawn and um, boarding a coach to the site, which is about three hours away. Um, and uh, it was there that I discovered just how bumpy Mexican roads could be. And also that they have speed bumps in the middle of the road which aren't marked and uh, bus drivers tend to go over them at full speed, throwing everyone out of their seats. I'm fascinated by the Maya civilization and have devoured books and documentaries alike on them. On a previous adventure, I was lucky enough to swim in one of the cenotes, sacred sinkhole pools that the Maya viewed as portals to their underworld and the site of sacrifices. The trip did not feature a visit to the underworld, but rather an ascent above the jungle canopy and even above the clouds. The first thing to add is that I'm terrified of heights, and that will become abundantly clear later in this video. The first port of call was a Maya village just outside the sacred Coba pyramid complex, close to Tulum, where our guide, an ethnic Mexica, or Aztec, introduced us to a shaman who performed a blessing ritual. the guide explained that this ritual would cleanse and protect us before entering the realm of the dead, and he could be heard invoking the names of Maya deities such as Chak. I secretly hoped this incantation would steal me against my vertigo, but I can sadly report that this was only partly successful. After exploring the brutal ball courts and sacrificial stones, with terrifying faces carved into the stones, it was time for the main event. The eerie walk through blasted-looking trees gave way to a jungle clearing, and the magnificent 137-foot Nohok Mul Pyramid began to hove into view. Nohok Mul translates roughly to large hill, and the nomenclature undersells the sheer scale of this marvellous monument to death. It is the tallest pyramid in the Yucatan Peninsula, and Coba's major construction is thought to have been made in the Middle and Late Classic period, about 500 to 900 AD, with most of the dated hieroglyphic inscriptions from the 7th century. Coba actually means water stirred or ruffled by the wind, and I can attest to the breezy conditions, especially the higher one ascends the pyramid. I could only imagine the sheer terror of the sacrifice victims on facing not only certain death, but a punishing and bound climb up this truly awe-inspiring building. What follows is my unsuccessful climb as I made the cardinal error of glancing behind me as I reached around the midpoint of the pyramid, which was still well above the tops of the trees, and, and in my mind at least, level with low-lying cloud cover, or perhaps that was just the haze of the thick and humid jungle air. Uh, this is going to do me, I think. I don't think I'm going to go any higher than this. Don't forget you were blessed uh, with the shaman. Oh right? uh, yeah, I was ble we were blessed twice. <laughs> but I think they do that. Once we're going up, and you're once going down. They do that to the sacrifices, though, don't they? <laughs> well, I'm going to go up a bit. You, you knock yourself out, mate. <laughs>
I've looked now, I've made a mistake of looking. After descending from my lofty but nowhere near the summit perch, I recreated the final moments of one of those poor sacrifices on a thankfully far lower stone and explored some other structures at the site which were equally fascinating but less terrifying. These included sacred tunnels made for the priestly class and ornate stelae. These ground level marvels provided another glimpse of the sheer vastness of the Koba site. The following day we explored another site with a far smaller pyramid that was far more my height, but alas was forbidden to scale. This site, called San Miguelito, was in the tourist zone in Cancun, in the grounds of what is now the Maya Museum. The museum itself is an incredibly sympathetic structure, which contains incredible artefacts, including colourful codices and the head of the king, which gave the nearby El Rey site its name. Despite my failure to conquer Nohok Mul, my fascination with the Maya remains as strong as ever, and my book, Maya Picture Book, Buildings and Beliefs, details the culture, constructions and religion of this incredible people. I've posted a link to the book in the description below. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.